Hello everybody. Our next camera is the Polaroid One Step Flash. It's part of their 600 series. Uh, the first model with an integrated flash came out in about 1981. This one was made in the UK. There were dozens of different names and models in different color schemes and for company promotion. Uh, I've found over 30 different variants. Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Avia, Amico, SlimFast, even Mary Kay. There were promotional variants of this. Uh, it has 116 uh, millimeter F11 single element plastic lens. Haven't been able to find any information about uh, whether the aperture varies or not. It's fixed focus, sharpest at between four and five feet. The shutter varies electronically. The, uh, this little window below the viewfinder has the photo cell. Goes from one fourth of a second to one two hundredth of a second. So you can see it's not real uh, flexible, uh, which is why it has automatic flash. You can't control it. You can't force it on. You can't force it off. Um, it's got the standard Polaroid light and dark and control here. I pulled this one out. My girlfriend wanted to be Lydia from Beetlejuice. She was using a Sun 660 in that movie, but this was, you know, black close enough. I actually have a Sun 660 somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So I figured, hey, we got a doubt, shoot with it. Indicators, there's nothing in the viewfinder. These LEDs right here, all that does when it's red, it means wait for the flash. When, it green, when it's green, it means it's ready to go. I had some expired uh, impossible film. The PX600 Silver Shade. That's their black and white integral film for the 600 cameras. You really got to be careful with uh, impossible film when it's expired. Um, you get these kind of streaky results. The rollers are good and even. I ran some stuff through it and checked. It's, they're nice and tight and their pressure's even. But you can see, I hope you can see, the developer pack is kind of in thirds here and it matches where you get these weird streaks. One other thing that I found about expired uh, impossible film They've been sitting in this box waiting for me to do this video and they've started getting this weird kind of pebbling. It almost looks like uh, bubbles. And then, you know, you get these strange parts where the developer didn't reach. Uh, it can make some cool effects, although they're changing as they're sitting, even in the box. So I'm going to have to hurry up and scan them. So in addition to the developer drying out and not covering your print, something happens to the stability of it because these have been in the box, in the dark, and they're degrading and getting this weird pebbling effect. I'll try this again. Let me find it here. I tried to use a roller, actually a rolling pin, um, to try and squish the partly dried out developer better. This one, I put it on a corrugated cardboard box so I wouldn't damage it, so it has something softer underneath it, and the corrugations came out. So that could be something to look at for a deliberate effect. So anyway, I'll probably play uh, with this camera a little bit more, but now I'm interested in seeing what kind of effects I can get, deliberate effects, from the impossible film. So. I'll load up another one, maybe not expired this time, so I have a little better control, and I'll see you then.